It may not be grouped among the staple food in Nigeria, but maize plays an important role in the production of common protein in the country. Good enough, Nigeria is the largest producer on the African continent as International Institute of Tropical Agriculture places the rate of production at over 33 million tons annually. It's an important component in the production of feed meal for poultry and other livestock. So if you've noticed that the price of eggs have increased in recent times, it's because the production of feed meal for the chicken is facing the challenge of scarcity of maize. In May, we were buying maize for 95,000 per ton. As of today, maize goes for 160,000 naira per ton, or 180,000 naira, between 160 and 180,000 naira per ton, which is ridiculous. It's affecting the pr production costs, and at the end of the day, affecting the end product. Because eggs, as of, as of last month or two months ago, was about 800 naira per crate or 700 naira per crate. Between 7 and 800 naira per crate. Today, egg is 1,000, 1,500 naira per crate. The harvest of new maize is in about three months and feed meal producers as well as poultry farmers fear how they would survive before then. In fact, there are periods whereby we won't even be able to produce for about three or four days in a week because of scarcity of maize. It's whereby our usual suppliers, when you call them, they tell us there is no maize. Okay, how much are you going to sell? They will say it's not even available. They trace the source of this problem to factors which should otherwise be good news for the country. Because of the federal government publicity on back to agriculture, a lot of people came into poultry farming, into fish farming, into piggery farming, you know, and this puts a lot of strain on the available grains or the raw materials. So that is why whatever they produce is not enough for the volume of stock we have in the farms now. The request is that the government allows temporary importation of maize or possible release from the National Strategic Grains Reserve, from which the president had recently ordered the release of 70,000 metric tons of grains to be shared among the poor and vulnerable people following lockdown occasioned by COVID-19.